What have we had so far then? The Bill, Gladiators, Little Britain, Faulty Towers. Ah, oh, come on, this as well? Hi, it's me again, and yet another one is being rehashed. Another classic show that people loved is being rehashed. Look, everything we know about the Grange Hill reboot, tough decision, huge returns, and air date. Yep, they're bringing back Grange Hill, beloved by a generation, a little bit older than me. My sister's a little bit older than me. She loved Grange Hill, grew up watching it. And it did break new ground in what was possible for a children's TV show. Some of, the, some of the subjects they tackled had never been done before, never thought it could be done on television, did they? Especially in a kid's show, it broke new ground. And that's why it was legendary. And now they're bringing it back. Yeah, it's not gonna work, is it? Creator Sir Phil Redmond confirmed that work on a film was underway, with the reboot expected to hit our screens sometime in 2023. Fueling speculation of original cast returns, fans have been eager to find out more about the Grange Hill reboot and what they can expect. Oh, there'll be original cast in there. Don't you worry about that. Don't you worry about that. Everyone needs to board the nostalgia train now, leaving a platform one. Choo choo! Because <laughs> that's the only reason that this is gonna this is gonna sell. It's the nostalgia trip. You know, make a new and original show. You don't have to keep rehashing things. And the problem is, with this, it's going to be the same problem that Faulty Towers has, and to a lesser extent, Little Britain. Uh, Little Britain's coming back and they're saying they're not going to have any offensive characters. It won't be funny then, will it? And the point of the show is to be funny. Faulty Towers is coming back. They're making it. John Cleese has confirmed it. But he's not going to be able to do the goose-stepping or picking on a Spanish waiter or having a go at his wife anymore, is he? Because you can't do that in today's world. So what are they going to do here? What are they going to do here? They're not going to be able to tackle some of the stuff they tackled before. And if it's going to be BBC, there's only one way this is going. This is going to be all LGBTQ+, and the bullying therein of at school about it. That's what it's going to be. It has to go the full woke. And I just don't understand why I have to keep... Re well, I know why they have to keep rehashing things, to be honest. It's the same reason why they make so many superhero movies. It's because these things are so expensive to make. Production companies and the studio time and everything is so expensive that they can't afford to take a gamble on a new and original idea because it might flop. So they have to pick an existing IP that people understand and know and it's less of a gamble. But it's ruining television because all these classics that are known and beloved by people are coming back and it's ruining it. It's going to ruin it. Faulty Towers will be ruined. I wasn't a big fan, but I, some of them were quite funny. My old man loved it. It's going to be ruined. Gladiators is going to be ruined. When I was growing up, one of my favourite things in the entire world to watch was the A-Team. God, I was obsessed by the A-Team. I always wanted to be face man, personally. And then they made that film, didn't they? That was it 10 years ago, maybe a bit more now, actually. And I thought, oh, I'm bringing back it. That's going to be brilliant. It wasn't. It was rubbish. It wasn't the same. It's not the same. And these things won't be the same. Make new and original programming. Take the gamble. Do it. Oh, here's something I didn't know, actually, look. In 2008, the BBC announced that Grange Hill would end after 30 years on the air. It had a longer run than I thought. I didn't realise it went all the way to 2008. But it was ended for a reason, right? And the reason hasn't gone away. Because the world has changed. It changed in 2008. It's changed a damn sight more now. It'll have to be a completely different show. It'll bear no resemblance to the original show, apart from, I get, I bet a couple of the original kids from there will be teachers now, or the head teacher or something. What's his name that was in EastEnders? He's bound to be, if, if he's still alive, I don't know. They're going to ruin it, aren't they? Just leave it alone, make something original. What do you think about it? Would you watch it? Do you think it's a good idea? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, because that way, hopefully I'll see you in another video again soon when I... Ta-da.